Book a flight right now. You see the full price up front with all the taxes and so-called junk fees added in. That could change, though, and our I-team is finding out why. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles here tonight with the story. Jason? Rob Sherrill, it's known as upfront airline pricing. Travelers can see the full price of their airline ticket right away so they don't have sticker shock at the end of the transaction. Now, that feature could soon be gone, but one local congresswoman is trying to keep it. When you book a flight right now, the first price you see online includes taxes, airport fees, security fees, airway operations, and maintenance, and a list of other charges. So if the flight says $250, you'll pay $250 when you check out. Here's an example. This flight price is $355.90. The taxes and fees which were included in that upfront price were $38.69. I don't want to wait until I'm cashing out. I want to see it right away. Carol Villaladores is not happy about the news that Congress recently passed the FAA Reauthorization Act. It focuses on airline safety, but one small part of that bill would also roll back a law that has been on the books for more than a decade, the upfront pricing law. This means you will no longer see the taxes and fees included as the full price of a ticket until the end of your transaction. That upfront pricing could be going away. What do you think about that? Uh, I'm, I'm not happy about that. It, you see something, you see a price, that's what you expect to pay at the end and not all these added on fees. It is bait and switch and you know the ticket price may be pretty high to begin with and then you add significantly to the cost, it makes it prohibitive for some people. Ninth District U.S. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky and other Democrats proposed an amendment to the FAA Reauthorization Act in hopes of keeping upfront pricing. The amendment was rejected, the bill passed, and is now in the hands of the Senate. The president has talked about transparency in taxation and transparency in ticket costs transparency and airline costs. I know I'll, we'll have the support of the administration to make sure that there's clarity for consumers. The I-Team reached out to Transportation and Infrastructure Chairman Republican Congressman Sam Graves, one lawmaker who helped introduce the legislation. He didn't get back to us, but we did hear back from Airlines for America, the group that represents the airline industry. Airlines for America says currently nearly every consumer product is advertised without federal taxes included. The organization then said that not advertising the full price up front would actually provide clarity on the actual cost of a ticket versus the numerous government taxes and fees that are added. The group explaining that many of the added fees are government imposed taxes, which totaled $20 billion in 2022. Airlines for America also says the government should not be able to hide its mandated fees as the base cost of airfare. People want to know the full price. Schakowsky says she's looking out for the best interest of flyers. That's not right. You want to know from day one, from minute one, what that cost is. According to U.S. Consumer Price Index data, airfare prices are actually down 19% versus this time last year, but the costs still remain a challenge for many dealing with overall inflation. Mm -hmm. Rob Sherrill, since this legislation already passed the House, you should reach out to your U.S. Senators in Illinois and Indiana if you want that upfront pricing to remain. I know as a consumer, I do like to see it right away. Yeah. Secure loan, yeah. You want to know everything you have to pay. Jason, up front. thank you. All right.